hello everyone welcome again and uh, now we are going to continue our job by application development tutorial and till now we have covered the servlet UDD class and I think it's 12th video on it and so in this we are going to cover the JDBC data source before directly dive into the JDBC data source uh, initially we will cover uh, one thing is the property files like how can we create a property file and how can we read the data from property files and what is the exact use of properties you know files so this is the simple text file that we are going to create in our project and that uh, keep the values in form of key and value so whenever we need to call any value we'll call just by the key so it's like you can see here this is a simple file which has a key as a url and that contain the value as a JDBC MySQL, the complete URL of the JDBC. So here driver is a key and the driver is the com.mysql JDBC to driver is a uh, value. So whenever I need to call this driver, I will just call this key. So it will uh, directly call from this. It's kind of variable things uh, in Java. So, but this is a different file. Uh, from this file, we are going to uh, read the data. So uh, why we are using it here because uh, we are managing the database URL and the database connection and the many things related to the database and other things during the project uh, so we want to use a common file to manage all these external things so in case in future if I want to change this thing I can just change in a single file so it will be easy for us uh, apart from changing on every places it will help let's see how to create a property file and uh, read the data from this so i'm going to create a property file so i'm on the my project and i'm going to continue this so <clears throat> under the resources we let's 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 create a package so we can create the package like this So here let's create one package here and this the name as a Java web app and under this folder let's create one property file. So this is I said simple file, so just right click on the folder, create a file. And then file name will be system dot property. You can keep anything. Just uh, extension should be properties. And just click on finish. So now it create a simple file. And now let's define some value here. For example, I'm gonna copy this code. <coughs> and this is the parameters that we are going to use uh, to perform the database activity so the first parameter as you can say is a URL and this is the URL of database so until now we didn't create a database and the upcoming video will create database just for example this is a key and this is a value again this is a key and this is a value and this is a username of database and password and now the main thing how can we read this data and how can we show so let's create a model package and just try to read it out so for example okay uh, do one thing let's let's create a data source class here and and the database connection will show you the demo how can we read the data from the system property then we'll move to the database connectivity so my class name is here as i'm using jdbc data source so just right click on this create a simple class and class name should be JDBC data source and <clears throat> so this is the standard name so you can change it and you can use it anything else you want so now uh, for example to check the output I'm going to create a main method here uh, we'll remove it when we perform the database code there so just want to see the output that's why we are creating the main method here and we'll uh, check the outputs there so uh, how can we uh, read the data uh, from the property file for that uh, we need to create a uh, object of resource bundle let's create one here okay so 
so let me create the code then we will explain the code so uh, we have a class and util package which is called resource bundle so I create an um, variable reference variable as a RB and resource bundle and get bundle and I pass here the complete name of my file so in my case in current location is this so it's not a, a com dot so I have to change this so my current location of the resources is uh, java web app name of this folder and then file name so file name is also system it should be capital S so now it's fine now we have rb as a variable and this variable going to call this keys so for example I need to call this key uh, this URL so I just call uh, rb so for example a string URL equals to rb dot get a string and I need to pass the key here so in my case the key is URL let me check it again okay let's see URL in a small letter so I'm gonna pass the URL here as a URL and now I can print it to check the output is it working or not so <coughs> let's print it this out so uh, when you print the uh, want to print just uh, the shortcut is just enter this out and control space so it will automatically uh, enter this so let's print a message as url database url is database url is and plus sign and then we have to call the variable as url so let's run it as this class as a java application and check the output so I'm gonna run this as a Java application and you can see it's calling that URL so for example similarly if I want to call another uh, key so I just uh, I can call in the same manner so plus so RB is my object and get a string and this time I'm gonna pass another key here so for example I want to use a name or password so I just call it as a and pass the password here Let's run it again and check the output now. So you can see at the end it's added the root here in the string. So it's calling the uh, password. So in this way uh, we can call the value from the resource uh, system dot property file. So uh, this is the <coughs> quick demo of how can we read the data from the external file in key value form. So uh, by this uh, we are going to call in the entire project we are going to this system or property file to create database connections. And for other key pair value also like if you want to see some error messages or something we are going to use it on major level. So this introduction will be, uh, will be helpful. So and we are going to uh, perform some operation on the real time in this. So the next video will cover <coughs> the data source, uh, JDBC data source, and why we are using JDBC data source. What is JDBC data source? We'll cover everything and we'll create a complete connection of the database. Thank you.